Okay, again, we're continuing a series on Python 3. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday if you're watching these as I'm putting them out. There should be an annotation on the screen that will bring you to the full playlist. Uh, so you can go back. I recommend watching previous videos if you haven't already. Okay, so uh, we're going to look at math, very basic math. So I'm in the Python 3 interpreter right now. I'm working with Python 3.3.2 is the version that I'm working with. And um, we could just start typing numbers. I can say 2 plus 2 and hit enter, and it says 4. I can say 2 plus 2 plus 2, hit enter, and it's 6. So that's adding. Okay. And I can say uh, 6 minus 2 equals, or hit enter, and it says 4. I can say 6 minus 2 minus 2 equals, and it's 2. That's subtraction. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, this is very basic so far. Uh, let's look at multiplication. Obviously, we can go 2 times uh, 5 and hit enter, and it's 10. And I can say 15 divided by 3 and hit enter, and it's 5. But you notice it gives us 5.0. Uh, and if I did a number such as, let's say, 14, divided by 3 and hit enter, it's going to give us the fraction, which is great. Sometimes you want those decimal points. Other times you want it to round uh, you know, to the integer. Uh, this is called a float, and this is called an integer. An integer is a whole number. A float is a, uh, a um, number with a decimal point, uh, and all depends on what you're trying to do. Um, and so let's see, let's say you don't want to have the decimal point. You just want the, the whole number, the integer. I can say 14 divided divided. So line line, uh, forward slash forward slash, 14 forward slash forward slash 3 and hit enter. And it gives me uh, the uh, 4 there. And if I did the same thing with 15, forward slash, forward slash, 3, it gives me the 5 without the decimal point. Again, all depending on what you're trying to accomplish with your, um, your script. Okay, so we figure out how to, to get the integer. What happens if we want the remainder of a number? Uh, so here's an example. Uh, I can say 14% three and hit enter and we get two because two would be the remainder when you are um, you, know, you know from when you take 14 three from four two. Uh, yeah when you're you're taking you're trying to find the uh, remainder of 14 and three and then the answer is two All right I feel like I explained that very poorly but it's very straightforward, I think. I gave you an example. I'll give you another example. I'll say 15% uh, uh, three and hit enter, and it's zero because it's a nice round division number there. Okay? So we, that's the remainder. We did addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, and division, both with integers and uh, with uh, the floats. And um, th the only other real basic mathematical uh, equation that we can look for here uh, would probably be uh, powers. Uh, so if you wanted to say, you know, 5 to the power of 2, which would be, uh, you know, 5 times 5, we can say 5 uh, asterisk asterisk 2, and that's saying 5 to the power of 2. Hit enter, 25. And we can say 5 asterisk asterisk 3, and that would be, uh, you know, 5 times 5 times 5. So it would be 5 times 5 would be 25 times 5 would be 125. So that's how you do powers. You know, you can, and you can do that with any number. We can say, you know, 10 to the power of 2, which would be 10 times 10. And we can say 10 to the power of 3. You know, and with 10s, with you're just going to keep basically adding a 0 each time, uh, which is... Uh, fairly straightforward. Um, so that's basic math. While I'm on the subject of math, I want to bring back what we talked about last week. Hopefully you've been watching the series from the beginning. And we talked last week about how we can say print, you know, hello uh, world. I can also create a variable. 
and say it's Chris and I can say print hello space plus Chris oh not plus Chris I did that in the last tutorial too plus name which is the variable which equals Chris and get hello Chris but I had to put this space there and I said well you can also put a comma which puts a space in for you so you don't need that space well another instance that you want to use that comma is when you're working with numbers uh, because since they're they're numbers they're going to think that the plus sign means add this to this so if I was to say print the number is and I put a plus sign and I say 2 plus 2 it's going to give me an error because it's thinking you're trying to add the words the string the number is 2 2 plus 2 you know or, or even if it was just a 2 so that's why it's giving you see it says cannot convert int it's cannot convert to an integer this is a string and it's trying to make it in, into an integer into a number which it is not so that is another point where you don't want to use the plus sign you want to use the comma so you can say this is uh, this the number is comma and you'll wanna no you don't put the space the comma puts the space in there for you we hit enter and it says the number is 2 or the number is and if we do 2 plus 2 we'll say the number is 4 if we do 2 plus 2 uh, times 5 we get 12 um, so because obviously uh, multiplication first 2 times 2 5 plus 2 12 not that I'm here to teach you math basic elementary school math you know um, but uh, so keep that in mind if you want to print out something and you can also put the numbers into variables I can say x equals uh, 2 plus 2 uh, times 5 and so now x equals the integer 12 so I can say instead of this I can say uh, the number is x and we'll put 12 there uh, or whatever x equals and you still don't want to put that plus sign because it will give you an error because the problem is with this string here so that is a quick look at some basic math and how to output it along with a string um, so there you go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description again. There should be an annotation on the screen to this full playlist. Uh, currently, uh, this playlist is being created throughout 2013 through 2014. So if you're watching it while putting it out, there's new video every Wednesday. If you're watching this way down the line, hopefully the playlist is all done and you can watch it all at once. But be sure to subscribe either way so you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, again, new Python video every Wednesday for the foreseeable coming months. And uh, currently, uh, I'm doing HTML5 Canvas tutorials on Friday currently and there's a playlist for that and Mondays will always be uh, Linux based operating systems whether it's on shell scripts of some sort or just the operating system itself currently while these videos are being posted it's on uh, said the program said so be sure to check those out as well as all my other videos I've got uh, plenty of videos uh, enough that you'll probably never watch them all on different languages uh, and doing different things, different programs. So be sure to check those out, all out. And again, my website's filmsbychris.com, Chris of the K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.